Hey everyone, welcome back to Kenshi. We are playing as Tank Face again today. I believe this is episode 4. And uh, we are going to go ahead and take on some more combat, get Tank Face leveled up, and then take on Skinner's Rome to really push our toughness levels quickly. Uh, pretty serendipitous moment here. We have combat going on between Dust Bandits and uh, Shock Guards. So we're going to go ahead and join in the fight, if we can get there in time, and get some combat toughness training. Doesn't seem like we will get there in time. Let's go ahead and make sure we're in melee mode. Go ahead and attack the dust boss. Okay, I don't think we got much off of that, but let's go ahead and grab his items and sell it off. Oh, here we go. Here's some combat opportunity. in there. Excellent. Looks like we are going to attack this guy that was taking a nap. There we are. Now he's a Shek, so he'll be a little tougher, which should give us a little bit more training time with him. a chance to fight back at all there. Wow. All right. Let's see what he has on. Mm. I mean, nothing of, nothing of uh, very high value, but we'll go ahead and take a few things to sell. have a browse. I'm just laying on the floor. Alright, let's do some business. Um, I think I might hang on to this sword for a little while. I'm just going to go ahead and put my food in my bag now that my strength is higher. Oh, let's go ahead. Oops. Did not want to do that. That's okay. sort some of the stackable items so it's not taking up so much valuable space here. That's a little bit better. I am still encumbered, but um, oops. Let's just go ahead and auto sort that. Okay. 0% encumbrance, that's great. Okay. I think we sold everything we needed to sell. Let's go ahead and grab some more.
some pretty good money here. Give me quite a bit of uh, combat training here. Hungry bandits have no fear. Oops. Just talk to him. Can't you just talk to him from the counter? There we go. Okay, so I think we've sold off everything we need to. Let's go ahead and find another fight. They're running at 21 miles an hour now. That is great. So it looks like one of our shops got wiped out, even though we tried to uh, help them. So I guess we could use this as an opportunity to train our thief and lockpicking skills. Anything else locked? Science books we don't need. More arrows. It's worth quite a lot. So we are a little bit encumbered now, but we do have quite a few arrows to practice with getting our crossbow skills up. And let's find another fight. Just as I was saying it, here are some starving bandits. Let's go ahead and use them for target practice. going on here. <laughs> ah. It's quite a weird glitch. Kind of creepy. Let's see what happens when we pick him up. Not much. Okay, let's go ahead and go over to ranged. Totally cheesing these guys, but you kind of have to if you're playing solo. There's no way you're taking on this group and surviving it, even at this level. Come on, buddy. Let's see what his crossbow skill is at. Oh, it's not bad. This game does get a little bit grindy sometimes, so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead for the parts that are a bit grindy.
get into some melee combat. We really need his defense to increase. So he's gonna have to get hit a few times. combat, we're able to take on groups of four or less, especially if they've already been shot with crossbows. And his combat training is increasing. Now at level 13 toughness, the negative 20 KO, so if we go down, as long as it's not more than negative 20 in our negative stats, we are okay. sleep this one off, get our health back, and I will jump ahead to our next fight. find our next fight. We just healed this little dog from the nomads and we are off to find our next group of bandits. These guys are getting hit from both sides. Okay, let's go ahead and run up the hill a little bit more. See if we can hit some of these archers. Since they're kind of doing our work for us. Don't you run away from me. Where are you guys going? You guys are retreating? It's like the Old West having a shootout. My range is quite a bit better, so I do have an advantage. And I 
have better armor. See my crossbow skills going up pretty quick. Accuracy is still pretty low. Level 14, we are getting close to going to Skinner's Room. Let's head back up, Let's see if there's any enemies up here. And there are. Okay, so let's go take these guys on. I do want them to get a couple hits on me, just to boost my toughness a little bit. There we go. That was a nice shot to the chest. I think my uh, accuracy is a little bit lower at nighttime. I'm not sure. It seems to be better during the day. Level 15 toughness, we are getting there. So far I'm loving the challenge of focusing on one character and making them super strong. Huh, I've never seen them stop fighting before. It's really odd. Shot their own guy. Where's he going? He's getting wrecked. Oh. 
Perfect. Nice job. I'm assuming there's another guy over here. What's funny is just after this, I'm going to attack these bandits for more uh, XP. They've already aggroed on me. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just not get knocked out here. I just got destroyed. Alright, level 15 toughness. We are slowly getting there. We want to get to level 20 before we go to Skinner's Room. Let's find some more fights. Almost there. In fact, I think we will head to Skinner's Room uh, very soon. Let's go ahead and rest up. Okay, well, that was unexpected. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. He's already badly damaged, so we'll go ahead and just fight him. This is all good. Getting my defenses up, my toughness up, and yeah. my attack. Excellent. Okay, let's rest up some more. One more fight, and then we're going to head to Skinner's Room to level up our toughness. Oh, perfect. Didn't even see them. Okay, so this will be the first real test of Tank Face's melee abilities. Let's not be too far from home here. And we will see how he does against these bandits. Because they're going to try and take my food, I'm going to go and just take off my backpack anyway. That's going to help with my um, combat ability, and they won't be able to take my food. Let's see how Tank Face does. Yeah. 
Hey, his legs are going, so we're going to want to get inside the city, or at least closer to the city. so far. For such a low level character. He's living up to his namesake. He is the tank. Okay, now he's down. The good news is he, it's a superficial knockout because of the timer. It's such a low timer that it's not even a big deal. And I don't have any... Oh shoot. Make sure they don't get my Gohan. So I'll just put my bandages out here. Splits, and let's hide our backpack. Actually, yeah, they didn't take any food. Okay. So he's gonna play dead, heal himself, and then we're gonna get up and fight again. Toughness level 22 now. tank face. Pretty well, all things considered. So he's gonna get knocked out again. He will heal himself and pretend to be down at the same time. We're gonna go ahead and get right back up. I hope he doesn't lose his leg. Okay, go ahead and get up. Alright, toughness level 27 now. Okay, now his chest is injured. He'll probably be down for the rest of this fight because these guys are going to get taken out by the guards. Uh, now the barman's out in the fight. This is always precarious because we can lose him. Potentially. Come on, tank face. Okay, go ahead and get up. Alright, got a little bit more toughness. So now we're at toughness 29. It's actually pretty good. Alright. So I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Tank face is battered, bruised, but he is doing extremely well. And he's just going to keep getting stronger. And I hope you're going to join me for that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.